Jason Tatum, Governor Abbott was very clear in his message today. The oil and gas industry isn't going anywhere under his watch. In fact, the governor signed an executive order that would reinforce its place in the country. At the heart of the issue and the number one thing that the governor promised to protect, jobs. Governor Abbott gearing up for a Texas-sized fight. We're here for a singular purpose today. I'm in Midland to make clear that Texas is going to protect the oil and gas industry from any type of hostile attack launched from Washington, D.C. And not mincing words. President Biden's embrace of the Green New Deal is a job killer in Texas. It also takes a wrecking ball to the energy independence that Texas has been able to provide to the United States of America. His plan, signing an executive order of his own that would block any action at the federal level that would place more restrictions on oil and gas. I have with me an executive order that I'm about to sign that will direct every state agency to use all lawful powers and tools to challenge any federal action that threatens the strength, the vitality, or the independence of the energy industry in Texas. Today's order reaches beyond D.C. It's not just the federal government uh, that is threatening the energy sector. Local governments around the country, and maybe even some here in Texas, are acting to derail the oil and gas industry and raise energy costs for families. And that's something the governor is not willing to compromise. He said he fought Obama-era restrictions as attorney general, and he's prepared to do it again, all in the name of protecting Texas's bottom line. That energy is a key industry, not just in Texas, but the entire country as a whole. He says that added restrictions could do more harm than good. Reporting live in Odessa, Jonathan Palasik, News West 9.